My name is Andre Stafford. I am a uh, bus operation specialist with the Washington Metropolitan Area Transit Authority. Bus Rapid Transit for us is basically enhancing a customer experience. What you're doing is you're guaranteeing the passenger a uh, safe, reliable, comfortable trip. As you see here, we have a dedicated right-of-way. You have 10-inch curbs where you mimic uh, high-level level boarding. You have transit-specific uh, signaling. The signaling system realizes there's a bus at the intersection, and it says, okay, there's a bus here. I have to give that bus priority. Let's speed up the rest of the traffic cycles and let the bus go through before the surrounding traffic. All of this is is to actually enhance the overall customer experience and to speed up your commute. My name is Lee Farmer. I'm a principal transportation planner with the City of Alexandria. Facilities like this are partially designed to attract people who have choices. You want the bus to be frequent enough that people don't feel that they need to wait for the bus. The bus is there when they need it to be. Providing this kind of transit that's frequent, that runs late into the night, that runs on weekends, you're actually providing an ability for lower income people who really depend on the system to get to work in a reasonable amount of time and not have to dedicate so much of their precious hours to travel. Hi, I'm Peggy Ponsolet. I commute from Bristol City going to the courthouse in Arlington. It's the best because it's reliable. You can go, you can set up your meeting, you're going to be there on time. Um, so to me it's perfect, that's all I want. And I also know if I missed one, I only have 10 minutes to wait for it. So, it's, as I said, it's fast. My name is Michael London. I work at Mr. Tire Auto Centers in uh, Laurel, Maryland. Um, I also work at Target here in Alexandria. Almost daily, every day I come to work, I use it. I either take it from Crystal City Station to get to um, Potomac Yard, or I take it from here and then ride it up there. It's catching this versus catching like the regular bus, which is the 9A, it's way faster, so you're less likely to be late for work. It's, it's a blessing, honestly. It saves, <laughs> yeah, it saves a lot of time. And one of our big focuses has been on redeveloping in such a way that we preserve existing single-family neighborhoods but then we redevelop into these areas where you're, the ability to kind of create these mixed-use, walkable, bikeable, transit-oriented environments within those corridors. And we know that basically no matter what we do, traffic is going to be continue growing on, on this corridor because of the things that it connects to outside the city of Alexandria. So our idea in terms of the redevelopment had been to create this facility where the people who live and work and play here have an option of traveling without getting on Route 1 in their cars and getting caught in congestion. And the developers recognized that to the extent that they actually donated um, land to help us expand the roadway to put this facility in. So it really provides that regional connectivity, provides travel within the corridor, but then it also provides connections to the rest of the region.